a curve has equation y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x. Find dy by dx and find the coordinates of the turning point of the curve. So finding dy by dx gives a formula for finding the gradient of a curve. So once we found the gradient of the curve, we can put a value of x and find the gradient at that point. The reason for having a formula is that the gradient changes for a curve. It's not the same value. So if y is equal to ax to the n, then the gradient dy by dx is that you bring down the power, which is n, and put it in front. So we get a n x, and then you reduce the power by 1. So we've got y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x. Good idea here to add in an extra 1 for you. So applying this rule to each of these terms individually, so we'll get dy by dx is going to be 3. Write down x and reduce the power by 1. You can bring down the 2. We've got minus 2. Keep the sign. Times 6x and reduce the power by 1. Bring down the 1. Times the 12x to the 1 minus 1. Reduce the power by 1. Simplifying that, this becomes 3x squared. This becomes minus 12x to the 1. And this becomes 12x to the 0. But x to the 0 is equal to 1, so this bit here will just become 12, and this 1 here we don't normally write in. So we get 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 as my final answer for the dy by dx. Right, at the turning points, the gradient is equal to 0, so we put dy by dx is equal to 0, because at a turning point, the turning point is like that, at the p place where it actually turns, the gradient will be 0. So we've got 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 is equal to 0. And then we have to now solve that. All of these are divisible by 3, so make it easier for ourselves. We've got x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. This is quite an easy one to factorise. We've got x and x, and then we can see that minus 2 and minus 2 will, will work. We're going to get x is equal to 2. So if we put x is equal to 2 into the original function, y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x, we get 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2. 2 cubed is 8. 6 times 2 squared, so that's 6 times uh, 4, which is minus 24. Don't forget the sign. And here we get plus 24. So these two cancel out. We're left with 8. So the coordinates of the turning point is 2, 8. I'll correct my English a little bit, R. Okay, so this has been a video to help show you how to find uh, the gradient function dy by dx and how to find some the coordinates of a turning point. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.